All right, ladies and gentlemen, if I asked you to solve this equation, this is an exponential equation, there's no way to even think of getting ma matching bases here. So this is one of these kind of problems where you would go to the garage and pull out a log ladder. And the ladder that you pull out is pretty obvious here. This is Euler's function, so we pull out the ladder, which is its inverse, and that would be the natural log function. So I take each of these numbers and I plug them into the natural log function. And since they're equal to start with, when I plug them into the natural log function, the results are equal. Okay? So the natural log of this number is equal to the natural log of this number because the two numbers were equal to start with. Now, what I do to continue this problem is I notice over here that I have inverse functions. I did this on purpose. The natural log and Euler's function are inverses of each other. What one accomplishes, the other one undoes. It strips away. So they virtually disappear. They annihilate each other because they're inverses. So we're simply left with the opposite of 0.94t. And that is equal to the natural log of 0.31. All right. To finish this, I divide both sides by a negative 0.94. And t is equal to the natural log of 0.31 divided by a negative 0.94. Now, if you were asked on an exam to go further with this, the way you would type this, you know, like, and approximate your answer, the way you would type this in is you would hit natural log of, what is it, point, okay, natural log of, 0.31, close parens, hit divided by, and then the opposite of, the opposite of 0.94, okay, and then we would hit enter, and let's say they asked you to approximate it to the nearest thousandth, t would be approximately 1.246. But again, let me make this clear. If, the, if your directions don't ask you to do this, if they just, you know, want an answer, this answer is exact, all right? If you're asked to approximate further, I just showed you how to do that on the calculator. Okay, let's come over here. We have 5.9 to the x power equals 98. Let me write it out a little bigger. 5.9 to the x power equals 98. Now again, this is an exponential function, I mean an exponential equation. We're trying to solve for x. <coughs> There's no way I can get a common base. So I need to either go get... Trevor, you okay, buddy? I need to either go get the log ladder or the natural log ladder. I'm going to go ahead and get natural log just because it's my favorite ladder, okay? But if this base were 10, I would be getting the common log ladder because those would be inverses. But here, we might as well just go ahead and get the um, natural log ladder. So the natural log of 5.9 to the x equals the natural log of 98. In other words, two equal numbers being put into the natural log function give me the same answer. Here, using the power law, the x comes down in front, so we have x times the natural log of 5.9 equals the natural log of 98. And then we finish by dividing. To get x alone, we divide by the natural log of 5.9. x is equal to this. And again, if you were asked to approximate your answer to the nearest thousandth or hundredth or whatever, you would simply pull out your calculator and type in natural log of 98 divided by the natural log of 5.9, hit enter, and then answer the question to the degree of accuracy the directions asked for. Okay?